Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. Ahabat One of the greatest things that we can do as Muslims is praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because praise is a part of worship. And the greatest thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us is with tawheed. And by praising and thankful and showing gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is a part of worship. And these are ways in which we show gratitude and praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they come from the various components of Iman, meaning from our tongue by remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and praising Him on our tongues. Of course, in our hearts, which is the greatest aspect of Iman, and likewise on our limbs by doing righteous deeds. And these are various ways in which we can show our gratitude by worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala outwardly. Imam Anawi rahimahullah ta'ala said, and we're not going to get into the introduction of this great Imam of the Sunnah, as he's well known, but in his book Riyadh al-Salihin, I felt that it was very, uh, it would be very beneficial for myself and the believers to go through this very short chapter, which is entitled Kitab Hamdulillah Ta'ala wa Shukrihi. That it is the book of praise and gratitude to Allah. And this is in Riyadh Salihin. And I thought that this would be a very important reminder and something very important for us to go through and uh, something to strengthen the heart because often we're tested in our iman and often we forget and we become ungrateful when Allah has given us so much. So Imam Anawi began, which is his asloob and the asloob of the salaf of this ummah, he began this chapter with ayat from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which illustrated praise and remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and thankfulness, gratefulness to Allah. He began, Bab Wujuba Shukr. He said the chapter of the obligation of gratitude. And he said, قَالَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى فَاذْكُرْنِي أَذْكُرْكُمْ وَاشْكُرْ لِي وَلَا تَكْفُرُونَ in Surah Al-Baqarah, Ayat 152, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Therefore, remember me, I will remember you, and be grateful to me, and never be ungrateful to me. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to praise Him and to glorify Him and be grateful for the countless favors that He subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon us. And with that, we have to go back to that ka'idah, to that principle, which illustrates for us that whenever we hear an obligation or a commandment in the Quran or in the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that Al Amr Yufid al Wujub, this is the, the asl or the, the foundation of, of this principle, is that whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us with something, it illustrates that this thing is an obligation. Unless we have something else from the Quran or the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to take it from being an obligation to something that is mustahab, that is, that is um, recommended, 
or the other ahkam, the mina ahkam uh, khamsa. So it's very important for us to understand that Allah has commanded us to remember Him. He loves to be praised. He loves to be glorified. He loves that you're grateful to Him. He commanded us to be grateful and thankful to Him. And He forbade us in here, meaning that is, that, well, well, nahi yufida tahrim that whenever there's a prohibition or whenever there's a whenever Allah a prohibition that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is prohibited then that means it is haram that means it is prohibited you know whenever there's a commandment ordering you to not do something then that illustrates that that is a uh, prohibition. And so here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited us from being ungrateful, that it is forbidden, that it is haram, that it is dis dislike and shows ingratitude to your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is the opposite. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used in the ayat, Wish, uh, He used the word from kafara. And do not become un ungrateful. This is how they, uh, and so this could be kufra, kufra uh, na'ma. Showing it's a type of disbelief, not taking you out of the fold of Islam, but meaning that you have showed great ungratefulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's an act of disobedience. If you're showing ungratefulness to your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, then of course this is disobedience. And we'll end there as we'll get, we'll try to uh, bring about some fawaid from the ulama with regards to this great chapter that Imam Nawawi has left behind as ilm yantafa'bi. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and forgive us and forgive the great Imam, Imam Nawawi. Rahimahullah Ta'ala for any mistakes that he had fallen into. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with ilm al-nafi, rizqan tayyibu, amalim al-taqabidin, wa jannat al-fardos. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.